everybody and welcome back to my channel life with patty and i finally have for you guys another movie review i have five here and that's exactly what i want to do from now and i don't like to get them when they're when i've built it up to 10 or something like that so i think five is the perfect number and um, for any of you that are new to watching my movie reviews they are generally old movies that i have at home on dvd um, I don't get streamline um, internet here to watch, you know, like Hulu or Netflix, that kind of stuff. So I buy my DVDs and I've been doing this for years and years and years, probably 30 years at least, 35 years since uh, my son is going to be, my son is 30. 36 and so I've been doing it his whole life so 36 years I've been collecting well first it was uh, beta and then it was VHS and now it's DVDs and then it's going to go to Blu-ray but anyways I do have five here and um, so let's just go over them and I'll show you what I have watched I haven't watched a lot of movies because I haven't been home um, but I did get a movie in last night so I went to visit my husband at the hospital and then I was like you know what I'm going to pop a movie in, and I did, and so it was nice. But anyways, I watched this one a couple of weeks ago, The Sound of Music. If you have not watched The Sound of Music, please raise your hand. I really want to know. I think everybody in the world has watched, um, you know, The Sound of Music, and um, it's just uh, Julianne, um, Julie Andrew, Andrews, Andrews, Julie Andrews, Julie Andrews. And she is a nun that goes to take care of a big family of um, like eight kids and she falls in love with their father. And I, I mean, everybody knows the story. It's always a thumbs up to me. Um, before we even had DVD, VHS, beta, I remember it would always come on at Thanksgiving time. And I, I'll remember as a high school kid in the early eighties, um, we had Thanksgiving at the house and I, I was dating a boy and um, he came over, a big, strong, burly guy, and we had Thanksgiving, and then um, my mom said, oh, The Sound of Music is on TV, and they would always put it on. He's like, what? You guys really watch that? I'm like, you're gonna watch it too. <laughs> and we watched The Sound of Music, and so I don't know how many times I've seen it, and it's just one of those movies. Usually I would watch it on a really cold, wintry, stormy day, and just snuggle up and just watch a movie that you know everything that's gonna happen, but you just still love it, so. That's this one, The Sound of Music. And um, the second one I have here is The Terminal. And that is with Tom Hanks. And you know what, it says Catherine Zeta-Jones. And I can't even remember what part of the movie she plays in. I just remember Tom Hanks. But anyways, he's supposed to be from like a, a small part of Russia and it speaks a different, not, not Russian, but another language close to it. And um, they, he gets to the airport and his visa is not good. And his country like blew up or something. So it's like it doesn't exist. And he gets to the airport in New York City. And so they take his passport from him. And they're just like, you know, you can't leave the premises of this airport thinking that he's not gonna, you know, abide by that he's gonna leave and he stays and it shows him like um, he has no money. They gave him vouchers for food and they blew away. And it shows how he um, collects money to, and they're watching him in the cameras, but there's like nothing they can do to finally get him um, squared away to, to leave. But anyways, it's a good movie. You have to watch the whole thing through to see what happens at the end. So I'm not gonna tell you, but I've watched it probably six or eight maybe ten times and i like it and tom hanks is such a good actor that uh you know i i love it the next one we have is with ashley judd greg keener and hugh jackman is called someone like you well first off um, ashley judd is such a good actress and i don't know that she's even played it anything lately and i love hugh jackman also he's such a good actor but they um are they are on a, a like a TV 
um, news series that's on TV and she's a, a producer and he's like a cameraman and um, and he is dating her boss who is the head producer of this radio station this you know news station um, but he, she doesn't know it and so then they start having problems and he starts seeing her and she falls deeply deeply in love with him and then he breaks her heart completely and this one is just like the man player and he's always with different women and they're just friends and she ends up needing a place to stay because she gave her apartment up thinking she was going to move in with him and um so he tells her that she can move in with him and share rent with him and just strictly platonic and um they become good good friends and he's got women over all the time and um and then i'm gonna let you watch the rest because you know the movie the rest is history but i've watched this several times it's an older movie um i don't know how many of you have watched this let me know if you've watched this before but i really really like it and of course this is what i watched last night pretty woman i mean it's just one of those movies when i'm by myself i never get sick of it of course you know the prostitute hooks up with the multi-billionaire fall in love and they have the Cinderella ending, you know, <laughs> and it's just one of those things. She's such a great actress in this whole thing. There's so many different lines you can quote in this movie. Slipper, slippy, what is it? Slipper, slip, I can't even talk now. Slippy little suckers or slippery little suckers with the um, escargot. <laughs> and, um, oh, it's a Monday. There's just so many different quotes in here. You know, a name, a name, give me a name <laughs> that I could just go on and on forever. I So I've seen this movie way too many times because I can just too many quotes from here. And this is when they're both really young. And, you know, I think this is the movie that made Julia Roberts. And Richard Gere has started many, many movies. But they're both great actors and actresses. And it's just a feel-good movie. And I love it. So... The last movie I've watched here, I don't know how many of you have watched the Cold, have watched Cold Mountain. It is a great, great movie. There is a lot of killing in it. There is a lot of violence in it. It's, so there's a lot of sadness in it, <clears throat> but there's good in it too. And it takes place in the South during the um, Confederate War. And, you know, um, Nicole Kidman, her, hus her father is a preacher, and they have quite a bit of money, and they move out to this really remote area of Virginia, I believe, and um, then he passes away, and she's left with this house, and she was um, in love with Jude Wade, but he went off to war, and she never saw him again, um, and so she thinks he's dead, and so then she needs somebody to help her with the ranch, and so Renee Zellwinger comes in, who is this tough cowgirl gal um, that can farm and she can cook and she can pluck chickens and, you know, do it all. She can kill with her gun. And yet the two are so opposite, because, but they become such good, good friends. And even at the end of the movie, it shows the whole family come together. It's a good movie. It's a sad movie. It doesn't necessarily have a great ending, you know, um, but it's one of those movies that I do enjoy watching maybe once a year at the most. Um, I know my, one of my friends on Facebook, because I had posted that I was watching it, and she said she watched it. She's like, such a depressing movie. I don't think I could ever watch it again. I could watch it again, um, but it's one of those I don't want to watch over and over again, but I, I definitely could watch it again. So let me know, any of you, if you have seen this movie. So... I give all the movies this week um, a thumbs up. So, how many of these movies have you watched? Have you watched Cold Mountain? Have you watched Pretty Woman? Have you watched Someone Like You? Have you watched The Terminal? And have you watched The Sound of Music? Let me know how many of those you've watched or which ones you haven't seen. Um, as always, I take suggestions of great movies, but I have so many movies right now. I, I bought a whole bunch when people gave me suggestions and I haven't even got through those. Um, and I'm trying to go through all my DVDs and watch them all. And then, um, I'll buy more, but I have several hundred still to go through. So 
All right, this was my movie review. I hope you enjoyed it. Everybody have a great day, and I will see you back here real soon. Bye-bye.